I decided to do a video to number one thank all of the first responders who cannot stay home they must continue to do their job and work in a dangerous environment and be subjected to the possibility of contacting or coming in contact with coronavirus God bless you all and we want to thank you very much and with that said we must help each other there are elderly people living alone that we must help please if you know an elderly person that needs a loaf of bread toilet paper or anything get a hold of one of us retired first responders like me or active first responders I know how first responders are and we will come to the rescue that's our job it's in our nature we took this job because we want to help people so if your emergency is simply not being able to get out and get food contact one of us active or retired we will find a way to get you some food these hoarders who are hoarding up all the food and the toilet paper and our elderly who live alone cannot get what they need this is this is not right so you know thank your first responders folks because it's not just going out and working traffic accidents uh, responding to uh, alarms and, and home calls and so forth it's not just uh, behind the wire protecting you from the criminals uh, in jails and prisons so they don't escape and get out and harm you it's not just those things that we do we also come to the rescue in times like this with the coronavirus uh, scare now this too in my opinion shall pass we just have to get through it and in order to get through it we have to work together and help each other get through it you know you can take a timeline back hundreds and hundreds of years and I'll just go back to the year 1918 to 1920 when the Spanish flu uh, killed millions of people and, and, and uh, affected one-fourth of the world's population these terrible realities we have to live through will pass each and every one of them and we'll survive this somehow because we're America strong but you know how come we survive this not just because of the citizens following orders but the first responders and our American military working together to protect you and right now my other heroes that we need to mention and highlight our medical staff across the country God bless you for what you do I'm so sorry you have to be subjected to all these people that are ill we know you took that job because you are a first responder that cares about people I am so sorry for all the medical staff and the hard work that they're going through now but we love you and we appreciate you don't you ever think we don't and our truckers yes our truckers who are not mentioned enough the ones that you wish would get out of your way on the highway so you can move on well guess what those truckers are needed now more than ever so when this is all over the coronavirus is over and we've we've defeated it and we've won the battle we've won the war please when you pass by a trucker or a trucker passes by you look at them and say when we were in time of crisis they are the ones that got us our food they are the ones that transported our medication they are the ones that transported our toilet paper that we all went so crazy over yes truckers are American heroes 
I am adding them to my list of first responders forever, or no matter what anyone else's opinion is. Truckers are now high on my list, and they are in my category of first responders during times of crisis in the United States of America. The coronavirus is hitting a lot of officers, a lot in New York, but elsewhere also. We now in Florida have correctional officers testing positive for the coronavirus and some inmates. It's now in our jails and prisons. We must pray for all our first responders and do everything we can to help them. And I'm going to end my message now by asking you, please, if everybody knows of just one person that can't get to the store and you can get them their loaf of bread, their gallon of milk, their six pack of toilet paper, or pick up their medication from the pharmacy. If we could all do that for one person, then all these people living alone would not have to be in fear of not being able to get their items. I know how it is. We have a, I have a father and mother-in-law who, who need help. We have to pick up their food. We have to pick up their pharmacy medications. We have to take them to the doctor. And there's people out there right now that don't have someone to do that for them. Let's help. Anybody that knows me and is watching this, and you can't get to one of your loved ones here in the Central Florida area, let me know. We'll find a way to get your loved one what they need. Just let me know. And as I told my friend who's far, far away from me, I told her, if that situation ever arises for you and you can't get help, you get a hold of your retired first responder buddies or your active duty first responder brothers and sisters, and we will raise hell and get you the help you need. And we'll do the same for anybody. That's what we do. We're first responders, and we'll continue to help even the people who hate us. Even the people who badmouth us daily will still come and help you and rescue you if you need the help. You call us. That's what we do. Thank you, medical personnel and truckers. I'm highlighting you today. Yes, I thank all first responders, but I'm highlighting the truckers and the medical personnel today. Thank you, everyone. Please stay safe. Please stay healthy. Please call us if you need us.